It has been one day since Chris made up a new escapist fantasy to cope with reality. It has been 726 days since the dimensional merge was to be completed, and it has been 1,159 days since Chris joined the cult of the Idea Guys. Merry Quickmas, everybody. My name is Gibby, and we're going to be going through the Chris Chan Weekly Update. We begin with Twitter user Zonichu tweeting a picture of Chris Chan Beerus. This is for their Dragon Ball Sonichu fanfiction. They write, How can someone so slim eat so much? We went to the supermarket several times, and I drew food for this goddess and still is eating? By the way, I think those are plastic grapes, frowny face. Chris took this very seriously. Three words. Very. High. Metabolism. That is common amongst Chris Chan Sonichus across dimensions and timelines. Not to mention all of the running they do. If you'll recall from a couple weeks ago, Chris in fact does not believe himself to be overweight. We're back with Zonichu, they say. We talked what to do with Chris Chan Beerus, the Briss Chan, if you will. We will appease this goddess as long as we can. We need ideas, so if anyone knows how to make Briss happy, please share this and comment here. Ooh woo. Chris decides to leave his input. At Zonichu, I have just made telepathic conversation with Chris Chan Beerus who from here on out wishes to be referred to by all of you as Chris Truss, sounding similar to Chris Cross. Oh my god. She literally just said, I don't know who, I don't know if this is male or female, but they literally just said that it's Briss Chan. And Chris is like, nah, it's, uh, it, it's Chris Truss. Cr Chris Cross. Chris Cross? Jesus Christ. Jesus Cross. Anyway, Cross is not malevolent, and certainly not one of the really bad ones the haters of this dimension misinterpret them out to be. And yeah, this is going to be yet another bunch of lengthy tweets, so settle down and listen well. Maybe have a snack if you wish. You guys get to have a snack, I don't get to have a snack, I need to talk into a microphone. Anyway, Cruss and I talked it out, and I have read her intentions. They are for the good and benefit of everyone in the longer run. Her tasks have been isolate, only to destroy any non-dominant buildings and structures from one of the two dimensions. So the dominant one will take its place. She has no interest in directly taking out any human lives, but anyone who is trapped within, unable to get out, Cruss will personally put an end to their suffering, only if no one else is available to rescue them. So a little background, uh, the character Beerus from Dragon Ball Z is the destroyer of worlds. He's part of a natural cycle where he's supposed to go out and like destroy, and then a creator is supposed to go and create. So I guess Chris is trying to work this lore into the existence of a Chris Chan Beerus. So his version of Beerus is destroying buildings, that have an alternative version in the other dimension so that they don't overlap. Basically, there's two Empire State buildings, one in the real world, one in C-197. Only one gets to live. This Beerus destroys the one of them that has the fewer people in them and kills all those people. But uh, he does it mercifully, so uh, that's good. Mer mercifully, mercifully. Cross has talked with all other deities of this set of dimensions and sorted out this plan in regards of the merge, reaching its full apex event for here and C-197. Cross does recognize, respects, and appreciate genuine and kindness of everyone. She looks deeply into their souls, if needed, for confirmation. She and her crew do herald from the distant dimension, where it is nothing but Dragon Ball Z-related lore, but spread worldwide to where everyone can become instantly kayable and such. Such people who misinterpret that DBZ is mainly set in Japan area and is localized there. Oh my, Chris Chan and me. Anyway, it is good to respect and treat Cruss kindly, though. Your prayers should still be sent directly to the OG Chris Chan Sonichu of Here and C197. These prayers get taken under great consideration and analysis, and then relayed to Cruss. Should a dis I'm sorry, I just can't say Cruss with a straight face. Should a decision be made that would alter her job and path, she only does as she is tasked to do at the very specific, exact moments and times as they come up. She will not do anything that has not yet been agreed upon, and she is one with very high standards and morals, like the majority of Chris Chan Sonichus throughout all dimensions, timelines, and universes. Cruss is mainly benevolent, no question about it, and so is our Christine Weston Chandler Sonichu here. Alright? Thanks for listening. Lightning, lightning, lightning. And P.S. At Mr. Simplest One, I am not reading any of your commentary, as I am aware of the spite in your being against us. Your fated moment will come swift, dude, and you will feel very much confused and lost. You could have been open and kind. You've had your chance. 
Ah, uh, yes, threatening people for their ideas. Truly, this is a blessing from female Jesus. Mutsbutt says, My friend drew Sonichu. Sorry we couldn't color them correctly. And then this is an obviously not very, uh, <laughs> not very accurate Sonichu. Clearly, uh, angry and evil looking. And, uh, Chris doesn't catch that at all. He just says, That's alright, it's a shiny. Going back to the, uh, the Chris Chan Beerus eating some plastic grapes, Chris decided to chime in and said, by the way, yes, those were plastic. Crus has the power to transform the object she holds at will, so she turned it into a real grape and enjoyed its fruity texture. It's similar to what Discord does. That glass he drank was swapped with the chocolate milk rain's texture. Off note, wanted a gif of Discord drinking the transformed glass from the show, but gif searching Discord generated mostly stuff from the Discord app. The Drac... Draquin... Draconicus? Draconicus? The Draconic... Dracon... Dracon... The Draconicus would not be amused by that. He could have just added, you know, Discord My Little Pony, and he probably would have found stuff, but whatever. So Zonichu says, Oh, found out about Dot Picked. I'm gonna try to draw stuff on it, see if anything is worthy of becoming real in our world. No idea what Dot Pick is, I just tried to look it up. Still don't know what it means. Apparently it's some sort of, uh, pixel-based drawing app. And the uh, it becoming real in our world thing is probably just Chris Chan lore and not actually related to the app itself. And Zonichu says, it takes too long. I am going to try to make the book come to reality. Okay, bad idea. Yeah, that's my catchphrase. Chris responds, yeah, it doesn't work so well initially when you don't have details in the thing being drawn chronicled. Like maybe the book could be an actual guidebook on how to travel between dimensions easily and safely written by the very wisdom of the cosmos and council of deities. One copy available in all existence in each and every respective universe within the infinite dimensions and timelines. It goes sold out quick like hotcake. It goes sold out quick like hotcake. It goes sold out quick like- Do you have the link? Our Magichan would really need it before it sends us all into a dimension with no air. Chris says, And C197 does have air. We have trees and oxygen and everything. It could be risky. If you were to try to program the book, you want it to manifest from dot pixels to have such Byzantine details and content, simplified and dumbed down for the typical human in Dimension 1218. Byzantine means complex and intricate, so much fine details to know. Chris also responded to Zonichu asking for the link to the book, and Chris said, The link to it is in linking with the cosmos in meditation and asking where it is. Or, you could Google it. <laughs> and see if someone else in this dimension has written the Byzantine details to warrant consistent positive results. <laughs> you can only search it by meditating deeply. Or using Google. <laughs> On December 23rd, Chris celebrated Festivus. Alright, so Zonichu's now drawn Chris in a cape, or Beerus Chris in a cape, and says, Anyone has advice how to dress Crus? We want her to dress like a true ruler, so we are trying things on her to see what fits. She seems not too bothered, so it's good news. Send designs and we will try some on her. I will draw them if I need to. Chris says, Oh, well, not to tell her directly how to dress, but our Christine would dress something like this. The dress is sparkly. Below that, he has a picture of one of his Twilight Sparkle Secret Triptych folder cards. Princess Fahuni Hitakara, Chris Chan Human Special Princess. And uh, the dress is apparently supposed to be sparkly. Zonichu says, Yeah, but is Crus. Chris is her own entity, with her own battle armor. Like our Magichan finally is starting to dress in his own way, so should the local goddess. I had planned on asking for Chris Chan's help if this Chris was evil or something, but would be now a waste of time. Since, well, Chris is not evil, and seems the goddess of this dimension and your Chris is busy with the dimensional merge, isn't she? Chris responds, Yes, as is Chris when she goes out on her duties in this dimension to demolish the structures and buildings that will be superseded. Fortunately, it is not all of it. That's asinine. But yeah, all of the Chris Chans, including ours and I, are busy tending to the merge details. So, all the Chris Chans, including ours and I, that means that ours refers to our Chris Chan, I refers to Sonichu because Chris still thinks he's Sonichu. Sonichu asks Sonichu if Chris would want Sonichu and Beerus to meet Chris for Christmas. I think that's what this is saying. Want us to visit the OG of all OCs? Could spend the holidays with her, if she takes a little break and maybe we can give her a gift, but doubt there is anything she'd be missing besides her loved ones. And Sonichu says she does enjoy the company. 
Apparently, Dylan Thomas did a stream on the 23rd, and Chris was watching it, and he said, I am watching your stream. Chris does like cucumbers and pickles. That's a major retcon. Chris actually liking pickles. Toffee Rose Chew asks if Punchy Sonic Chew has a favorite color, and Chris says Punchy's favorite color is orange. On Christmas Eve, Chris said, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and then a whole bunch of other stuff that he definitely used Google Translate for. No matter where in this dimension, Sue 97 or anywhere or when else, the kind sentiment is still there and appreciated. And then actually, on Christmas Day, Chris begins tweeting, Where in between 1218 and C197 existed the 7 s crystal balls, manifested from the Chaos Emerald energy from the Chaotic Rainbow of 2003? The 7 of them were broken to make the Megastones, now manifested from the combination of cores of Sonichu Prime and Chris Chan, the mythical 8th s crystal ball has manifested at the temple of Chris Chan Sonichu. Orange in color. This one chaos gem will be a light that brightens our dimension merge and darkest hours. This is new, important lore. All of the previous s balls, whatever, had been destroyed. Now there's a new one, and it's orange, which is Punchy's favorite color. Guys, I think that the new main character is going to be Punchy. I think he's going to save the world. This completely unrelated person tweets, Gingerbread monolith atop Corona Heights in San Francisco this morning, and it was briefly framed by a rainbow to boot. Merry Christmas to all. And, uh, Chris has to respond. A mark and foreshadow of one end of the new chaotic rainbow. Because remember, if there's a rainbow anywhere on Earth, it means that it's linked to Chris's other dimension. The moon is full tonight. It shines through the bedroom window. It's like a poem. Also, this is the worst camera phone I've ever seen. This picture is literally worse than the intentionally grainy pictures that Jacob Sockens takes to hide the fact that he's photoshopping demons into his picture. Like, what is this? Tanza the cat asks, How would your character interact with mine? Share in the comments. This was a mistake. Now remember, this is this is Sonichu typing for Sonichu. Hey there, fellow electric type. A few exchanges of thunder punches later. You're not so bad yourself. I always appreciate everyone else who can zap it up well for themselves. Lightning, lightning, lightning. On December 26th, in one of Chris Chan's discords, he wrote some new lore for actual people on our planet that he did not invent, and uh, let's, let's just look into his delusion here. Chris says, Fun fact, you remember Clyde Cash, that OC that was misused to troll Chris? So, uh, if you're unaware, Clyde Cash is the name of a troll, but obviously that's not the real name of the person behind the troll. Clyde Cash is basically just the username or the persona that they were putting on. So this redacted user says, Yes, absolutely. And Chris says, yeah, Clyde in C197 actually has chronicled each and every individual in 1218 who played as him. So that means that the fictional version of Clyde Cash, because of course they have to actually exist in the fictional universe, knows the name of all the people on our real Earth who use the persona of Clyde to mess with Chris. And now with recent drawing, he is no longer human, but a really damaged red Sonichu. So that means that Clyde Cash is canonically a red Sonichu now. Jule slash Blue Spike, chronicled the dude who played them. So again, the fictional person, who is Jule, has an alternative version of them in C197, who is fictional because the real human behind the Blue Spike persona, although Blue Spike was just the username that we know them as because they were role-playing as Jule, it ha knows who that real person's identity is? I think it's Chris what Chris is saying. Blanca Weiss and Jigliami chronicled their hooligans, the list goes on. The trolls who trolled Chris using an OC, their respective OC was chronicling and using them. Put that fact on Kiwi and see how many people reevaluate their respective troll sonas OCs. So the main point in this is that every person who used a persona to troll Chris was having themselves documented by that persona as they exist in C197, and thus now Chris has access to all of their personal information. Which is insane! <laughs> And that will do it for the Chris Chan Weekly Update for the Christmas week in 2020. Next week will be the new year, and it will also be the second anniversary of when the Dimensional Merge was supposed to happen. I've been uploading videos on the Sockness files this week, and I'm going to upload a lot more in the coming weeks documenting Jacob's Twitter, just in case he deletes it, so I will see you in those videos, and if not, I will see you in the next Chris Chan Weekly Update. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at GIBI underscore Devin.